Hello guys, Nelson Virgil from ExcelMail.com. I'm here to just share one of my concerns about men's health and the treatment of men's um, hormonal imbalance, and specifically testosterone replacement therapy. Very concerned about many doctors not really testing different variables that make a difference and can increase risks in men's health once you start testosterone. One of them is hematocrit, is the amount of red blood cells in your blood. Testosterone is known to increase red blood cell production and thus hematocrit goes up. This increases your viscosity of your blood and your heart and your brain are basically being exposed to a very thick blood after a while. That's not a good thing that can cause cardiovascular illness, strokes, etc. The best way to manage this is by giving blood, donating blood if you're allowed to, or getting an order from a doctor to give blood, at least one unit or so, to decrease the viscosity of your blood and the amount of red blood cells. Many doctors are not testing for hematocrit. We offer a very economical test, CBC and the CMP, on discountedlabs.com, where you can monitor your own hematocrit, and you can know if you need donation, go to a donation center. Hematocrits over 53 are dangerous, have been studied in several studies that can cause an increase in cardiovascular risks. So it's always good to keep it below 52 and donate as frequently as you're allowed to, to keep it that level. You have to be careful not to donate very frequently because your iron levels can come down and make you tired. So that's another concern.